It's time for us to talk nutrition this morning. And this morning on the nutrition segment, we're going to be looking at how to make a healthy plate of food. Uh, guest here this morning is Akusia Kunidi Yadam. She's a state registered nutritionist and she's going to help us to figure out how to best make a healthy plate. Good morning, Akusia. Good morning. How Gregor. are you? I'm fine yourself. I'm well. How was your weekend? Ah, it was a lot, but it's fine. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Well, let's get into it. How do we make a healthy plate? Okay, to start with, mm. um, we need to know who we are making that healthy plate for. Okay. So I will group it into two, or group them into two. We have people with um, underlying conditions, people with non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, and what have you. Mm. And then we have those who are termed as the healthy individuals. They just have no condition. So okay. persons with condition, persons with no condition. And so for persons with condition or somebody with any of the non-communicable diseases we've spoken about, you need to make sure that if it is an adult, the person is using eight inch plate and for the plates, we have seven inch for children. We have nine for adults. So, oh, I see. So, I didn't yes, even know there you didn't know. We just, <laughs> we just eat. It's allowed. That's why we are doing some of these things to make sure we know what we okay. have to do. So, for an adult, you need to use a nine inch plate for your feeding. And then you divide it into two. So, this is an example of the what we have on, okay. on screen. The first is the seven inch, the next one is the nine inch okay. plate. So you make sure that you are using the nine inch plate, you divide it into two. Mm. So that would be like 180 of it should be vegetables. That is the non-starch and the starch vegetables. There are two types. We have the non-starch and starch vegetables. So if you are somebody with any underlying condition, make sure that half of your plate always, when mm. it comes to you eating, is having starch and non-starch vegetables. Okay. And we have examples of starch and non-starch vegetables. We have um, potato, we have um, white potato, sweet potato, we have squash, we have all that categories we mm. have the images and then we have um, the starchy or yes we have the starchy um, um, vegetables as well so this is the starchy vegetables we okay. have the sweet potatoes we have the white potato we have the example and then we have the non starchy vegetables as well so okay. whenever you are eating make sure half of your plate has the starchy vegetables and the non starchy vegetables okay. occupying half of your plate mm. then you divide the other two the other the other half by two so that is 90 90 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 should have lean protein or what we call healthy protein and we've spoken about lean protein being um, the part of the poultry, the part of the beef, the part of the meat that comes with zero fat. So if you are shopping your groceries, there, there, there are sections. If you are using the supermarket, for instance, they, they are labeled and meats are labeled according to how mm. they come. So we have the cow feet, we have the lean part, we have the chicken. If it's chicken, we have the breast, okay. if it's poultry. So you need to make sure you are, do, you are doing with the lean part. Mm. And then you move on to the staples. That okay. is where we have the rice, we have the oat, we have the barley, we have the wheat, we have the spaghetti. Mm. We have what we call the carbohydrates. Okay. They are the staples. So the other 90 is supposed to cover that. So that is for persons with conditions. Mm. And then if you come to persons with no condition, you have to divide your plate into four. So okay. we have four equal parts. Mm. That is for people with no condition. And for your four, you need to also make sure you have one of them having the starchy vegetables and the non-starchy vegetables. And then you have to make sure that you have the staples or the starches. You have to make sure you have the lean part and you have to make sure 
you have fruits also being part of it. For even persons with condition, you need fruits to be part, you need water okay. to be part of your plate. Elsewhere, they will say a glass of non-fat milk, but this is Ghana. How many of us will, will can take, yes, that. can take um, milk mm. with our meal? So I will suggest that you go for a six ounce, we've spoken about six ounce glasses, eight ounce glasses of, let's say, freshly squeezed watermelon juice or whatever juice you are comfortable with so that if you want to go that way it is very important though water is part of it you need to really be careful as far as water intake is concerned because there is a school of thought that says that um, water interferes with digestive enzymes mm. and so it prevents or inhibits the work of digestion and that is the result uh, that's the reason why sometimes there are heart burns people have high acidity mm. as far as how they feel after eating is concerned so i would want to be in between the two so that if my body is found of giving me that result, should I be taking water whilst I eat, mm. then I don't find myself in trouble. If I do the other thing too, I don't find myself in trouble because I don't know which one will work for me. So to play safe, I will say that 30 minutes before meals, you yeah. can go for water so that it will even aid with digestion. Mm. So if it's not 30 minutes after meal, you can do one hour after meal to make sure that you are not interfering with the body's processes as far as digestion is concerned so that we eliminate this these heart burns okay whenever i eat after eating i have um, high acidity i'm gassing a lot i have a lot of heart burns okay so let's let's re reiterate again and go over the the different groups of people so we look at people who are normal they don't have any condition. conditions Let's look at their, their plate. Okay. What's your healthy plate like? So for a healthy plate mm -hmm. for people who are okay, myself, yeah. yourself, yeah. I, none that I'm aware of, mm. yes, we need to make sure our plate is divided into four equal parts. Mm -hmm. That is 90, 90, 90, 90 okay. to make up for the 360. The 360. Okay. So the first 90 should have the staples, what okay. we call the starches. Yeah. So if, let's say, I want to go for um, plain boiled rice, that 90 should occupy we'll that and that. A, a two ladles level mm. will make Good it enough. for that and then the other half should have the lean protein or the healthy protein so i can decide to go for a drumstick with mm. skin off mm. i can decide to go for the chicken breast and that that should satisfy i can decide okay. to go for the sardine tin size equivalent of fish either um, grilled that is the safest. I don't want to say fried because mm. even various methods of cooking can also affect, affect how healthy the, health. okay. a food, uh, the food will be. Okay. And we are trying to stay healthy. That is the reason for this segment. Sure. So I have to preach the ideal, ideal thing to do. And then the other half is supposed to take care of vegetables. That is the non-starch the non-starchy vegetable and the starchy vegetables okay. and the starchy vegetables we'll be in these are the non yes these are the examples of non-starchy okay. vegetables we have the bell peppers we have broccoli mm. cabbage we have carrot we have beet we have um, um, a lot as we can all yeah. see so you should make sure it has this and the starchy ones that is potato white potato, we Pumpkins, have the sweet potato, so I can decide to go for, yes, this is the starchy vegetables, mm. so I can decide to go for, let's say, um, potato salad. Mm. I can have lettuce in there, I can have a bit of potato, cooked boiled potato, cold yeah. or, 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 or frozen as part, because you can add um, cooked or hot potato to salad. Salad mm. is supposed to be presented cold. Mm. So I can decide to have plain potato salad with a sprinkle of, let's say, a teaspoon of canola oil or olive oil so that I satisfy the protocol as far as essential oils oh, are concerned. Are okay. concerned. Okay. And then I have um, potato salad, but I'm satisfying the protocol as far as um, the starchy yeah. vegetables and non-starchy vegetables are concerned. And there should be a place for fruits too. So I said that for where we find ourselves, I can sit and, and drink a glass of milk. Mm. So you can decide to go for, let's say, uh, a six ounce glass, that's a small glass, of yeah. watermelon juice okay. and you will be satisfying the protocol as far as whatever you need for the fruit section okay. is concerned or you can have your fruit 
after your meals and when we spoke about planning your meals we spoke about the fact that for your snacks you can chip in your fruit so for our part it's normally difficult to satisfy all these protocols mm. at a meal okay. so we spread it over by the time we do a 24-hour dietary recall we should have satisfied all every protocol okay. so that is for persons Who, with no condition okay and then and then if you can reiterate the one with People so with people condition. with condition, you divide your plate into two, 360 by two, you have 180, 180. Mm -hmm. And for the first 180, it should cover the starch and non-starch vegetables. So mm -hmm. you are doing a double of what the other people are mm -hmm. doing as far as vegetables okay. are concerned. concerned. Okay. So you need energy dense foods, but in so doing, if you are diabetic, you don't want to overwhelm your, your glucose because yeah. you don't want excess glucose. And vegetables are low in calories or yeah. they are low in glycemic index. They wouldn't shoot your blood sugar mm. like the way some of the refined foods would do. So that is why we are beating it that way. Okay. So you do half of that. And then you divide the other half into two. So you have 90, 90 mm. for the, the lean meat or the lean protein, it's constant for all persons. Mm. Yeah, so you don't say that I have this condition, so I don't have to be yeah. taking, they say I shouldn't be taking a lot of meat. It's about the right portioning. So you do half or the 90, this is an example of lean. You realize mm. that it comes with no fat yeah. attached to it. Absolutely. So you do the lean, the lean, the lean protein, and then you do the staple. So if it's rice, let's say brown rice, mm. if it's spaghetti, whatever it is, that should also, this, these are the staples. You make sure they also cover 90 um, mm. um, um, one, one, one fourth okay. yes, of, 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 of the plate. Okay, super. Um, the place of water yeah. in all of this, um, you made mention of the fact that it's important not to dilute your, your, your meal as you're eating with mm. water. Um, 30 minutes ahead of, t of, of eating yeah. um, is what you suggested. Yes. Is it possible that, uh, let's say, when you sit down to eat before, let's say, maybe 10 minutes before, would it be too bad to drink a glass of water 10 minutes before you eat? The ideal thing is to stick to the 30 minutes, Kuku, okay. because you know that everything that has to do with us has to do with science. Mm. And as far as this is concerned, it's, it's difficult. For instance, if I'm eating a talk and I'm choking and there is water, mm. you think I would interfere with digestion and so I should choke mm. and suffocate? No, mm -hmm. I will go for water, a yeah. or ampesi yam. It's okay. one of the most difficult foods to eat for me personally. Mm. So if I am choking, are you saying that because I'm not supposed to do that? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying you can go for a glass of watermelon juice so that you know that you are not just taking something like water. Yeah. You are getting at least some nutrients as well. Mm. But the right thing to do is 30 minutes. And if you are eating and you are taking your time to eat me, I can spend up to 25 minutes to eat. Eating. You are able to masticate. You are able to make sure food is properly swallowed. Okay. But if you are in a rush, rush definitely yeah. choking will happen. And I've said a, a good number of times, it takes up to 20 minutes for satiety signals to reach the brain. Yeah. And that is after 20 minutes of eating, that's where you realize that you are feeling full or satisfaction mm. is happening. So if you're eating within first five minutes, 10 minutes, yeah. you are tempted to overeat yeah. and you give your body more than it will I, need. I, I find that very interesting because I, I realize that Every time I have a plate of, or a bowl of fufu, for example, if I want to, I mean, these days I don't behave like that, but when I was younger, I tend to find that if I want to eat a lot, yeah. okay, I eat really fast. That way I can keep eating, yep. you know, and it's yep. like, wow, you just had one of this, yes. and you're having another, you know, in addition. Yes. And I found that it doesn't trigger, I don't feel like I'm full. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm really, my stomach must be turgid by now, but yep. then I don't feel like I'm full. Yeah. You get down and you feel like, did I just finish eating this? Yeah. So the brain, we are like a machine, you know, it takes up to 20 minutes. Mm. So whatever you are eating, eating should be planned. That is why you meet people, they are doing everything they can to lose weight. Yeah. But you sit down to do a, a dietary recall. You sit down to know what they've been eating, what they are munching on, what they are being picky at. And you realize that 
they are not doing what they need to do to get the results they mm. seek. Because if you are fond of eating very fast, like I said, naturally that is how the brain would take it. It has to get to that 20 mm. minutes. Mm. So if you are not getting there, just like you said, there is a tendency to overeat. I okay. eat slow and so I, am, I struggle to even finish my plate sometimes. Mm. Mm. All right. Um, I want us to just touch a little bit um, as we're talking about healthy plates. Talk about, tell us a little bit about this. I mean, I know there's a new craze. You know, everybody's doing keto <laughs> diets, keto diets. Um, what is it about that, that diet that um, seems to be effective for some people? Yeah. Um, also, just help us to understand whether it's something that's generally effective across board or it's only certain types of people that it will benefit. Our bodies are different, Quick. Okay. I'll start off by saying that my body is different. I have been this way, I have been this way for almost 10 years. Okay. And somebody else was like me six months ago, and, and she's looking different okay. today. Genetics comes to play. My mom is very big, okay. but my dad was very slim. Mm. I look like my dad as far as my presentation, my shape is concerned. So... I will say that as far as I'm concerned, I'm kind of lucky as far as how I look is concerned. For the keto thing, I, I don't know why there is a, a craze for it because I've mm. come into contact with people who it's been um, 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 something that has been dangerous and almost caused them their lives. A research was done using this keto thing and it was used for just three days. Just like somebody will go for intermittent mm. fast. We've spoken about this, I think, somewhere last year. Okay. And it wasn't for people to follow it for a particular period of time. Let's say go over a week, some go three months, six months. How many of them do you see maintain? Mm. Have you seen about 70, 80% of them maintain or get the results they were seeking to achieve without um, falling back to where they were. It works for some people, but it, it can be very dangerous. And research didn't design keto for, for it to be used the way it is being used. So it was done mm. for a period of time just to allow the body, just like a factory, to risk that. Mm. So okay. it's a way of helping um, 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 the body to kind of restart. Okay. And it, it, it involved even the use of animals, sorry, um, when, when the research started. Okay. So it was like it was adapted. Obviously, you don't expect mm. them to use a lot of human beings for yeah. this research. So if it works for you, why not? But I wouldn't sit here and really praise keto. Okay. All right. So uh, there's, a, there's a message here. Um, this is coming from Daniel in the cry. He says, uh, what do I do to increase in height? Now, I, I'm uh, <laughs> last thing this guy DM me this question. Uh, this is interesting. I wonder how old you are. Oh, because Lord. I think that above a certain age. Yes, uh, yes. If, if Daniel, late, you uh, are <laughs> over, if you've crossed adolescent, uh, your adolescent age, if you've crossed, let's say, 18 mm. up to, let's say, 24, but if you've crossed, uh, you, you're above 25, forget about it. Mm. I told him that it has to do sometimes with genetics. My mom is short. I am not short. My dad was tall. Mm. So, like I said, last um, week's conversation, mm. we spoke about stunting and the fact that whatever you are doing between zero to five, yeah. sometimes you see stunting after five years. And it just didn't happen at five. Mm. It happened from that whole process of zero to five okay. years. And so I was saying that as parents, as husbands, as mothers, we need to be careful. You open the weighing book and some mothers don't even understand what was recorded in there. You need to ask if your child is growing as he or she needs to, to okay. grow. Fantastic. Thank you. Akosia, how can people reach you? Okay, so on Instagram at the nutritionist Akosia, at the nutritionist Akosia, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, Twitter, nutritionist Akosia. And you can also call me in 0243 350206. Thank you very much, Akosia. Thank Kunegi. you for yeah, having Adam me. Is, the, is a state registered nutritionist and she's been helping us how to create healthy plates. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe. Like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.